Good evening again, friends. It's a sad evening. And let's begin with the important political story of the day, which is about the Wadra Congress uh, really continuing to attack the Prime Minister and abuse uh, him and continue with the abusive politics, despite one of the leaders, uh, Pawan Khera, recently facing arrest over the issue and, in fact, apologizing before the Supreme Court. There are, in fact, multiple FIRs against the Wadra Congress leader. Congress MP Karthi Chidambaram hurled the Gautam Das taunt yet again today. He took to Twitter and shared a selfie with Congress leader Pawan Khera as both the Congress loyalists were attending the 85th plenary session of the party in Raipur. He captioned the picture Gautam Das and tagged his colleague. It's not just him. Udit Raj has also joined the wagon to abuse Prime Minister. Listen in. राजनीति कब रहे जब तक मोदी जी के नहीं खुदेंगे अब दो ही रह सकते हैं या तो देश स्वस्थ रहे विकसित रहे कमनल हार्ट पानी रहे तो मोदी जी की राजनीति कब्र खोदना बहुत जरूरी है वरना महंगाई बेरोजगारी और व्यापार और जो सामाजिक न्याय की सारी बुनियादी सुविधाएं हैं इनकी कब्र खोद जाएगी Well, I am told uh, Shahzad Poonawal of the BJP joining us uh, over the phone. Shahzad, he's uh, Udit Raj can be heard saying, we need to dig the political grave of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. You know, it, it, it seems the Congress party is going to be unrelenting now when it comes to abusing the Prime Minister. What's going to be the BJP response and more importantly, the BJP strategy to deal with this? You see, the Congress party is now reflecting not Mohabbat ki dukan, but Nafrat ki zuban. And in this Nafrat ki zuban, that hated for one man, they have started hating even the institutions of the country. That's why they abused the Prime Minister. 80 abuses have been hurled on him, his family, his samaj. Now they are also trying to ask for his death. They have uh, threatened him also to kill him. So this only shows that in their virod of one person, how they have started doing virod of institutions of this country. It reflects the mindset of the Congress, the Charles as the chair of the Congress. And sadly, it is the Rahul, this like people like Rahul Gandhi and the top leadership that patronize such elements. Such elements are given patronage protection by the top leadership and they are responsible for this kind of language being used. The question is that people of this country have always rejected this kind of politics of abuse and gali and the people of this country in 2024 will definitely give them a response just like they gave them a response in Gujarat. We remember that in Gujarat, their leaders like Mr. Madhusudan Mistri had said Okaad Dikha Denge to Prime Minister and all those who had abused the Prime Minister during the Gujarat elections, there was a historic mandate given to the BJP. The people of this country will repeat the same thing they have done in Gujarat in the entire country in 2024 as they continue with this Kali politics. But would that suffice, uh, Shahzad? Because uh, this uh, this continuously debases political discourse. Uh, there has to be there has to be something uh, which needs done so that the political discourse uh, really reflects uh, the maturity of India as a democracy. You see, the problem is that on one hand, Rahul Gandhi says that he is doing Pyar Ki Rajniti, that he is doing Mohabbat Ki Dukan, that he uh, is trying to uplift the discourse of the country. But in reality, when all these elements resort to personalized attacks, even praying for the death of the Prime Minister, at that time it is Rahul Gandhi and his ecosystem that patronizes these elements. And therefore, there is a difference between what they say and what they do. And the only response in such a political scenario is the response that the people of this country will give. Because, you know, uh, obviously there are legal actions that can be taken for some of the statements, but this is not a legal battle, this is a political battle. And if, if people are going to abuse the All Prime right. Minister, it again. All right, uh, Shahzad Poonawala there of the BJP suggesting that uh, people's choice is going to be the shield uh, with which BJP is going to come back and hit the Congress party on the abuse that uh, the party has been hurling at the Prime Minister. In fact, uh, here is another one, a comment coming in from a cleric and politician, Taukir Raza of the Congress party, again targeting the Prime Minister. Listen in. Narendra Modi ji ko, मैंने पहले भी एक बार कहा है आज फिर कह रहा हूं कि नरेंद्र मोदी जी को धृतराष्ट्र की भूमिका से निकलकर अपने इन तमाम दुर्योधनों 
اور دشاسنوں پر پابندی لگانی چاہیے دشاسن نے چیرہرن کرنے کی کوشش کی تھی اسے ہندوستان میں آج تک یاد کیا جاتا ہے اور اس پر لانت بھیجی جاتی ہے اور ہندوستان میں گلی گلی میں ایسے دشاسن پیدا ہو گئے ہیں جو ہماری بیٹیوں کی نقاب کھینچنا چاہتے ہیں نقاب اتروانا چاہتے ہیں ایسے دشاسن اور ایسے دریودن جو گلی گلی قتل کرنے کا کام کرتے ہیں کل رات بہار میں کر دیا اس سے پہلے بھیوانی میں کر دیا اور ان قاتلوں کی حمایت میں سبھائیں کی جا رہی ہیں یہ بہت گمبھیر بات ہے حکومت سے میں مانگ کرتا ہوں کہ جس طرح سیمی پر پابندی لگائی گئی تھی جس طرح پی ایف آئی پر پابندی لگائی گئی تھی اسی طرح وشو ہندو پریشد اور بجرنگ دل پر آتنگوادی سنگٹھن ڈکلیئر کیا جانا چاہیے اور ان پر پابندی لگائی جانی چاہیے Well, if you look at it, the Prime Minister himself has uh, taken over the insult politics, taken on the insult politics of the Vardara Congress. Uh, listen in to the insult and then Prime Minister's befitting response to this. لیکن دیش کہہ رہا ہے ہندوستان کے آواز کہہ رہی ہے ہندوستان کا ہر کونا کہہ رہا ہے موڈی تیرا کمل کھلے گا Prime Minister was there speaking uh, on uh, how he has been abused and how it has helped him keep his focus steady on nation's development and growth. In fact, this is not the first time. In fact, uh, the party, the BJP, had uh, compiled as many as uh, 80-plus abuses hurled at the Prime Minister over his uh, political executive, executive career of the last uh, two decades, uh, going back to Gujarat days, early Gujarat days. And... Uh, uh, The BJP, as came out of Shahzad Poonawala's phone in, believes that uh, the people's mandate is the ultimate answer to all those abuses hurled at him. Uh, uh, well, let's move on and to the political theatre of Bihar. Uh, 